डेली सैप न्यूज की डिप्लोमेटिक असाइनमेंट के साथ मैं हूं शबीर हुसैन आज हम मुरीशियस की सिफारिश करने में मौजूद हैं और मुरीशियस जो एक स्मॉल आइलैंड है 1.2 मिलियन पॉपुलेशन का ये मुल्क है और इस मुल्क के अंदर 100 परसेंट एजुकेशन 100 परसेंट हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस है और ये सारी चीजें ये कैसे अचीव कर रहे हैं ये हम आज जानेंगे मुरीशियस के सफीर जो हमारे साथ आज निशस्त में मौजूद हैं आपको मिलवाते हैं मुरीशियस के सफीर मिस्टर राशिद अली खान से अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर एंड थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम टेल अस दैट यू पीपल आर हैविंग 100% एजुकेशन लिटरेसी एंड 100% हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस हाउ यू आर मैनेजिंग दिस कांसेप्ट टू प्रोग्रेस अलाउ मी टू ग्रीट यू ऑल अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड थ्रू यू आई एम आल्सो ग्रीटिंग योर व्यूअर्स द रिपब्लिक ऑफ मॉरिशस इज अ स्मॉल आइलैंड this island was discovered by many the europeans by the portuguese okay followed by the dutch okay after the dutch we have the french and the last one was britain all these four european powers colonized at one given of at one given point of time in history okay we obtained our independence in 1968 once we obtained our independence the real work started in the island to build a an island state to build a nation in 1968 onwards the government assumed the responsibility of building a welfare state the main policy of the government at that time was to set up a welfare oriented society and one of the early measures taken by the government was to proclaim education free okay from pre primary up to university we in we were involved in that policy mainly because the island have no other resources okay only a human resource was our main resource okay so the government at that time decided to invest massively in education hmm. and today we are bearing the fruits of education okay through education we have been able to build a very cohesive society okay where people as you have mentioned of different faith live together cohabit together work together share together that has been due to the quality of education that the island has been providing to the people of the uh, of mauritius we spent roughly about 5 to 6% of our gdp okay. to education and this has resulted in 100% literacy rate okay and this because of the high standard of education the country is progressing very well how are you managing the expenditures to overcome the health sector and you are providing health facility 100% free all the hospitals providing health services to mauritius are free and the government is very much conscious of the financial aspect of this education is free health is free it really cost the government a lot of money but at the same time we have diversified the economy The island before independence was a monocrop economy. Okay. There was only one crop which was being cultivated in the island. The whole island was covered with sugarcane plantation and sugarcane has been our main activity going on. Immediately we started diversifying the economy. 
building the industry agricultural sector and lodging it okay. setting up an industrial base developing the tourist sector keeping in mind that we need revenue to sustain the education sector and to sustain the health sector tell us about uh, what would be the concept of a welfare state and how we accommodate the people to especially in their old age what mauritius is doing for their people the island lack resources but we have raised a challenge okay how we have raised a challenge by immediately diversifying the economy and once we have diversified the economy we have obtained sufficient amount of resources to run the country properly okay. government very conscious of the people standard of living government has decided at that time to allocate to every, to every single Mauritian who has reached the age of 60 a basic retirement pension okay independent upon the work that you are doing just to redistribute wealth this is a, a another form of redistributing wealth giving an amount of money to each Mauritian independent of his work once he has reached the age of 60 government give him a special allocation both mr and mrs so that they can survive very well the the idea behind it is redistribution of wealth so that has been the cardinal policy of the government of that time how to promote welfare giving education free when we give education free, the transport of a student to is free the examination fee is free and our system of education is linked with great britain cambridge is responsible to conduct all our examinations we do the teaching and cambridge do the examination exactly. and correction just to raise the standard of education just to raise the quality of education in mauritius going further government as i have explained to you the health sector is completely free in mauritius where you can go for your treatment and going further mauritius government has been offering a lot of services to the people in terms of welfare oriented the basic retirement pension is one of them construction of low income houses for poor people okay. we always government is very keen still the policy is going on we construct houses for the low income people and then in Mauritius today we can see that about more than 90 percent of the people are owning their own houses okay. so the policy it has been mainly welfare oriented okay you know it's a woman day all over the world is being celebrated what role do you suggest that women are playing in your economy as mauritius and in pakistan as compared to pakistan and what role you suggest for women that should be in our social economic uplift because of high standard of education high quality of education there is no difference between men and women okay this is i can say you will see when you come when you visit Mauritius, you can have a look at it everyone is treated fairly everyone has to obey the law no one is above the law women men children all are treated fairly well okay. in the island we have been very serious concerning the role of women because as a small society we need labor both men and women up to now we can say that the problem of women inequality doesn't exist in our country okay whereas you concerning pakistan i know you are doing a lot of efforts a lot of work has to be done here 
to bring that Akbar men and women, is still we can say that Pakistan you don't suffer that very much on that uh, on that count. How would you describe Pakistan as a you know potential tourism destination? And uh, what you like the food of Pakistan? How you would describe the food of Pakistan and its people? We built a very strong hospitality sector. Okay. As you must be aware, the population of Mauritius is 1.2 million. Annually, we receive 1.5 million tourists. At one given point of time on the island, we can have 2.5 to 3 million people. So, in order to provide some space to the Mauritian national, we go on, on we go on what we call high tourism, high-end tourism. We practice high-end tourism. This means what people, those who are well off, they can come because they can come to Mauritius and enjoy due to a space we have to keep certain space for the uh, locals to for the Mauritian population okay. so we have been always following the policy high-end tourism okay. high quality uh, service our personnel is well trained we have a school to train properly our people to work in the hospitality sector Simultaneously with this, we have, been, we have what we call cruise tourism, which is very popular in Mauritius. We have even a special harbor okay. where tourist ship can berth, and we are expecting about 15 to 18 cruise ships per year. Okay. This too is picking up in Mauritius. So this sector, we are doing very well. For the last two or two and a half years, we have been completely devastated due to COVID. But post-COVID situation, the situation now is becoming normal. Tourists are now coming. We have nearly reached one million tourists now since we have started. Now it is picking up. It is on the right way. How would you describe Pakistan's its tourism? Yeah. Uh, Pakistan has a lot of work to do in that sector. Okay. Pakistani tourist product and the Mauritius tourist product are not similar. Okay. Our product is mainly sea product. Okay. You, you have a different tourist product. You have beautiful mountain, you have the Himalayas, you have a lot of ranges, you have rivers, you have beautiful. Pakistan, sec this sector needs a real, you know, road map. So that properly settled, properly organized, the infrastructure should be well looked after. The training of the personnel is very important. Here is an area where Mauritius can work very closely with Pakistan. We are ready to share our expertise in this field with Pakistani uh, uh, experts. Both experts, Mauritian experts, Pakistani expert can sit together and work out the formula how to build, how to organize, how to structure a real hospitality sector. Okay. What food you like in Pakistan? What you think it's more tasty than Mauritius? How you would describe the food of Pakistan? Really, we enjoy the food here. Uh, we used to go to eat outside most of the time. The biryani, the polao, and this. Uh, this karai, yes, goes kar, uh, okay. karai go, which we, we love very much, and uh, but we prefer it less spicy, and your naan and your your tandoor, which we keep on eating. We are originally from this part of this world, okay. so this food is very not new to us, but here that the taste that we have here. It differs from that what we have in Mauritius. Okay. In Mauritius, the taste has been, you know, mixed with other culture. For example, the biryani that we produce is very much different from the biryani that we have here. Okay. The, the food that we prepare, basically with the same ingredients, 
but the way we cook it is different from here. Our food has been mixed with African culture, with European culture, with Indian culture. So there is a fusion. Okay. There is a fusion in Mauritius. Uh, the food when you eat, you will you will see all these colors present. Okay. Mr. Ambassador, you have given uh, your valuable time for this interview. We thank you. Uh, viewers ke saath share kar chuke Mauritius jo hai, wo bahut chota sa ek island hai. लेकिन यहाँ पे एजुकेशन का अगर आप रेट देखें तो वो 100 परसेंट है हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस देखें तो वो 100 परसेंट है और जो प्रॉस्पेयर सोसाइटी का कंसेप्ट है वो आपको देखने को मिलेगा कि हर जो सिंगल सिटीजन है आफ्टर 60 इयर्स ऑफ एज जो बहुत बड़ा लैंडस्केप अचीवमेंट है मरीशस की कि उसको एक स्टेपन दिया जाता है जो पाकिस्तानी पचास के करीब बनते हैं और इसके लिए गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉय होना जरूरी नहीं है इसके लिए कि, कि आप यहाँ के जैसे पाकिस्तान में आके जी गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉय होगा तो उसको पेंशन मिलेगी वो जरूरी नहीं है तो ये वो साइलेंट फीचर हैं जो हम अपने बाब इख्तियार से कहेंगे कि इस तरह के मॉडल होते हैं प्रॉस्पेर सोसाइटी की जानब और हम ये चाहेंगे कि हमारे मुल्क के अंदर भी ऐसे इनिशिएटिव हों एजुकेशन फ्री हो हेल्थ फ्री हो और हर इंडिविजुअल को जो बुढ़ापे में जिसका कोई सहारा नहीं होता ऐसे इनिशिएटिवों को हर वो इंडिविजुअल को पेंशन मिले और वो अपनी जिंदगी बसर कर से डिप्लोमेटिक किसी और असाइनमेंट के साथ दोबारा आपसे मुलाकात होगी तब तक शबीर हुसैन को इजाजत दीजिए अल्लाह हाफिज़